in today? Well, I feel a bit foolish actually coming in. I feel a bit embarrassed. I, oh boy, I really blew it on Monday. I went to the casino and I know we've been working so hard together and I made that commitment not to go gambling. Uh, yeah, I just have tried not to think about it for the past two days because I just feel so embarrassed about it. I spent $800 when I was there and I don't have that kind of money to spend. Okay. So you're feeling pretty embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really embarrassed. Yeah. Do you feel safe to talk about it here and to explore maybe more what was going on for you? Yeah, I think I just kind of like compartmentalized it and put it like away until I could get here and talk to you about it because it was like I don't even want to think about it out there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you comfortable kind of exploring what led up to going back to the casino? Yeah, I don't think anything led up to it. Like, that was a strange part. Like, I woke up, I didn't have any intentions on going. Okay. Like, I don't think, it, it was like I was just there. Yeah. It feels like it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, it just happened. Okay. And that's very common with slips or relapses where we feel like they just came out of nowhere. Where did this come from? But sometimes by pulling it apart and kind of standing at the event and going, okay, somehow I ended up at the casino. I'm going to look backwards a few hours, a few days, and see what I was thinking, what I was feeling, what was going on. We almost like become like investigators and explore more of the layers that could have been going on for you. Sometimes that gives us insight as well as gives us opportunities to say, if I were in the same situation again next week is there anything I could do differently or any of the skills that we've been talking about that you might um, put into your week that could help you out does that sound like it would be helpful I think so yeah, okay. yeah. well let's try it and see okay. how it feels it's called a chain analysis so I'm just going to draw it out on the whiteboard and then we can fill it in as we go along okay Okay, so here's a chain analysis here on the whiteboard. So we'll just go back. So right now you're looking at your target behavior, which for you has been to not gamble. You're, right. you're trying to abstain and you've been doing an amazing job at that. And you're standing at a, a relapse or a slip and going, how did I get here? Mm -hmm. So what could be put here under target behavior? Uh, slip with gambling, going to the casino, what language? works for you in terms of um yeah like I guess I kind of talked about it I was like I messed up but I guess I had a slip yeah I had a slip because I didn't gamble the next two days okay I messed up slip with gambling and you said you went to the casino the casino yeah okay I spent so much eight hundred dollars yeah okay so we'll put that here under target behavior. So that's the thing that you're working on. Okay. Then we're going to look backwards and I don't know if you want to look to the day before or the week before. Was there anything happening that was making you more vulnerable to your emotions? So typically those are things like maybe lack of sleep, nutrition that changes, maybe you weren't eating as much yeah. or as healthy as you usually do. Um, just things that are out of the, um, the usual that may be make us a bit more prone to emotional explosions? I had a really good weekend. Like okay. I felt like it was a good weekend, but I went away to Kingston and okay. I was busy like from Friday night to Sunday night. Okay. So although my mood was in a really positive place, I didn't have laundry for Monday. I didn't have groceries in the fridge. Okay. I didn't have like anything ready to go for the week. Okay. So was that change your routine? Yeah, a yeah. change of routine. Change yeah. Your I, routine. I felt like I was kind of... Um, starting off the week kind of already behind. Okay. Yeah. After the weekend. Yeah. So starting behind and then mm. were you exhausted after Kingston? Sounds like it was Yeah, busy like it was fun. super fun, but I was okay. extra tired, yeah. Extra tired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So starting the week behind. Yeah. Is how you were feeling. Yeah. Okay. And I usually have protein for breakfast. Um, but I didn't have any eggs or anything at home. Okay. Um, so I did eat when I got to work, but I was just eating like some crackers that were in my okay. cupboard at my desk. Okay. Um, so like I did eat something, but it probably wasn't like really satisfying my hunger. Okay. So we're going to say lack of protein yeah. probably made you hungrier. Yeah. Because usually that protein fills you. Yeah, it fills me up better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So these are all things that can can become our vulnerabilities. Would you say anything else made you more vulnerable to your emotions mm. that day? I'm just trying to think. It was like a really busy day at work. Okay. Yeah, it was a super busy day. Yeah. And it kind of ended badly. The day ended badly? Yeah. Like I was really kind of trying to stay focused and getting things done. It was 3.30 and I was about to leave. My boss came with like about two hours worth of paperwork to do. Mm. And so I knew that when I got home, that's what I would be doing in the evening. So I kind of felt very deflated. Wow. Did that feel triggering? Yeah, I guess maybe like me leaving there, it was kind of like, you know, I try so hard and it's never enough. And so maybe I kind of felt like I deserve a reward maybe. Okay. So we might put that under your prompting event that you know you were already vulnerable you were already feeling exhausted tired i've only eaten crackers today i'm running on low fumes and then when you get asked this question of here cheryl can you do some extra work and maybe it wasn't even asked in a question maybe it was dumped on you was okay. it yeah yeah so boss dumps extra work on you then that becomes quite triggering mm -hmm. and maybe if he had asked you that three weeks before that and you weren't feeling all these things that you might have been able to okay. cope with that a bit differently mm -hmm. maybe not but in this situation we're looking at how all these vulnerabilities were happening and then you get asked this question and it hits pretty hard right yeah yeah okay. yeah it felt like I, I don't know if I can do it almost right okay. yeah I don't know if I can do it there's a thought were you thinking, feeling, or doing anything else? This is our thought, feeling, action triangle that happens between these three. Yeah, I think I was thinking, I don't think I can do it. Um, it's not fair. Not fair. Yeah. Um, I think I was feeling hurt, to be honest. Like I probably got more angry as I was driving. Um, but I think originally it kind of felt a bit hurtful, like, like, why me? Why do I have to do more? Yeah. And I think I started, kept thinking about it, and I just got more and more angry about it. Um, so the anger was increasing as you were yeah. thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I can do this. It's not fair. Why me? Yeah. Feeling hurt yeah. and angry. So this was when you were at work at the end of the day. Um, did you do anything between that statement and going to the casino well just driving okay yeah so i was driving home did you take your normal route I th yeah i took my normal route and i think just between work and home i just decided that i needed to like have an evening like i just lost my evening to paperwork okay. and i'll have my evening now okay. go home have dinner and then um do the paperwork okay I didn't intend to stay at the casino all night at that time I think I just thought like I'll go in for 30 minutes I'll go in for 45 minutes and have a little bit of a break so I'll have my evening I heard you say earlier my reward yeah yeah because I'm doing this extra yeah so was there better I deserve a reward sure yeah 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 so driving home feeling hurt feeling like I deserve something a bit mm -hmm. more enjoyable than doing mm -hmm. all this extra mm -hmm. paperwork. How did the steering wheel <laughs> turn towards the casino? Is the casino on your way home? It's not. It's not. No. So how did that? I had to go past my house to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's just like I don't want to go home and have to look at this paperwork. Mm -hmm. Like I need to have a break from my day. Right. Yeah. You drove past your house while thinking, I can't face it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, that and I think I felt like some relief when I drove past my house because it's like, you know, I'm going to like, you know, treat myself right. Like, give myself a break. If my boss can't do it for me, I'll do it for myself. That sort of a feeling. Right. Yeah. Give myself a break my boss can't mm -hmm. if they won't take care of me I'll take care of myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I've heard you say before in your long period of, of staying awake from the casino that the casino is not a break for you. Right. That it increases your stress. Were any of those thoughts no. coming in? No, it was all, Yeah. this is my break. I deserve yeah. this. Like now I'm in the stress part because I spent the $800. Okay. I can't afford it. I saved up for my Kingston trip. I felt so positive about that. I saved up like the $370 it cost me for everything. And I used it and then I felt like really good. Like, oh, I saved up my money and I spent it for okay. a reward. But now I'm $800 in the hole. Right. So now I have to try to make that up. Okay. So it didn't work, but at the time I wasn't thinking. It wasn't on your mind at all. It wasn't on my mind. Okay. Yeah. So in a moment, we'll go back through and we'll look at some of those skills that you have practiced so diligently. And we'll just kind of gently explore where they could maybe be injected into this throughout this time period. And um, some of those thoughts that weren't coming to you, those coping thoughts that weren't coming to you in that moment. Um, that now you're kind of looking back going, I could have challenged some of these thoughts with my coping thoughts. Mm. Okay. So target behavior. So these are your thoughts, feelings, and actions. They're all kind of happening at the same time, right? You're feeling hurt and angry. You're thinking, why me? Which is probably fueling the anger, which is making the steering wheel turn a certain way, which wasn't towards home. And all of these things are kind of happening and snowballing at the same time. And before you know it, you end up at the casino. If you think about it, it didn't happen in the three seconds that it took you to cho choose to drive past your driveway. It happened, you know, 48, 72 hours before in Kingston, mm -hmm. where you were having a lovely weekend, but these kind of things were happening that were creating um, maybe what we would call the perfect storm. So outcomes, has anything happened at work or with your finances as a result? Yeah, so I gotta find a way to make up for that $800. Like I live pretty close to the line every month. So like I probably have about 50 or $75 extra a month. Okay. So it took me like five months to save up for Kingston. Okay. So it's gonna take a long time to save up to pay that off. Okay. And I didn't do the paperwork because I was at the casino all night. So my boss was upset. So I'm trying to smooth that out. Okay. So, yeah. And so then I feel bad about myself. I feel embarrassed, yeah. Okay. It's like I did it again, right? Like how many times am I gonna have to do this to learn okay. my lesson? Okay. Feel embarrassed. I've done it again. Got some money I owe and my boss is upset. Mm -hmm. And you're kind of sitting here before me with this weight mm -hmm. of these kind of emotions debt and then uh, interpersonal conflict with your boss okay so by doing this we can kind of hopefully help to get a plan of repair which will help us to explore what do I do with this weight of emotion feeling embarrassed and upset what do I do with my boss and what do I do with my debt what do I do with this $800 that I would like to build back up and so we call that our plan for repair. What am I gonna do next? But before we do that, we're gonna look at some solutions or some skills that you could have practiced along the way. Now it's easy sitting in the chair that you're sitting right now to look back and go, oh, I could have done this or I could have done that. And it's easier to do now than it is in the moment. Mm -hmm. It's also easy to become judgmental because when you look at, oh, why didn't I do that? We might feel like you're gonna judge yourself or uh, be upset with yourself. This is a very gentle exercise of going, okay, I did have some options along the way. And if I'm in that place again next time, I'm really hopeful that I'll practice them. So we just gotta kinda make a commitment to one another that this exercise isn't about getting judgmental, it's about getting kind of ex explorative and kinda going, okay, what could I have done along the way that might have been helpful? So just as you look at it, um, is there anything that stands out to you in terms of a skill that you would have wanted to practice maybe earlier on, mm. either in Kingston or as you drove home from Kingston? I think with Kingston, like I would have still went to Kingston. Okay. I think because I was away, I stayed up too late. Like I, 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 I need my sleep, but I stayed up okay. too late on um, all Friday night, Saturday night, and then I came home late Sunday. Okay. So I would have still gone, 
but I would have just stopped the night earlier so that I wouldn't be so exhausted on so Monday is that morning. Like a sleep schedule, yeah, kind of have, yeah, that? like okay. just kind of end the night earlier, end the night earlier, yeah, and then maybe like on on Friday before I left, I could have popped by to get groceries and have groceries in the fridge. Okay, um, and then when I got home, I could have had, yeah, groceries. Okay, I could have had something to eat. Okay. Day. So remember those pleased skills where we mm-hmm. talked about mm-hmm. taking care of your your sleep and you've worked really hard to get that sleep mm-hmm. schedule and to get those groceries in the house. And so it's really coming back to those, the basics, mm-hmm. right? The pleased mm-hmm. skills that have become so important to you and just maintaining those even when it's a weekend off. Right. Sounds like Kingston yeah. was kind of I think of I used it as an exception, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So your body would have really benefited from mm-hmm. having a break from Peterborough, but maybe not a break from some of your skills mm-hmm. that they could have they could have went with you to Kingston. Okay. Okay. So please skills with the vulnerabilities. Anything um, kind of between Kingston and getting to work where the the boss kind of shows up with two hours of paperwork. Anything else that you would have done to take care of your vulnerabilities? Um, I think I could have like radically accepted. Like this is not the first time the boss has done this. Okay. It is part of my, maybe like twice a month. Okay. So maybe radically accept that this is part of my job. Okay. Um, it might not be the favorite part of my job, but it is a part of my job. And maybe like to use my coping thoughts, my self-encouraging coping thoughts to say like, I, I can get through this. I've done this before okay. um, as a way to just kind of remind myself that, yeah, okay. that I've had success in the past where I've taken it home and I've done it and, you know. Okay. And um, is it a good relationship with your boss to be able to kind of negotiate or is it mm. is it set in stone that... Yeah, I yeah, I might have been able to use my dear man skills, my assertiveness skills. Um, sometimes I think when he asks me to just do the extra work, I don't take that time to say, is does this have to be done in the morning? Does this have to be done by 1 o'clock? Does this have to be done by the weekend? Maybe it's just on his mind and he's like, oh, I need you to get this done. Okay. And then I think I just kind of, go quiet and I don't actually ask those questions okay yeah okay so lots of options available to you at this point and maybe if all these things were the same if you were still tired you might not have felt up to negotiating Mm. sometimes negotiating happens when we feel like really charged and ready but maybe that radical acceptance would have been helpful Uh if you were feeling a bit more full like maybe uh, your pleased skills didn't happen in Kingston you got home and you ate those crackers you got to work and thought this is no way to work I gotta take five minute break go to the grocery store grab some protein Mm -hmm. you were feeling a bit more full by implementing some of your police skills Mm -hmm. down here maybe you would have felt up to negotiating Mm -hmm. here Mm -hmm. maybe not but there's a Mm -hmm. few options Mm -hmm. like I could have after I left him gone and picked up takeout and okay. save myself like cooking time told myself like I'll have a special treat of takeout like something healthy but right. still something made for me and that would have felt like I was still having like maybe a bit of joy in my evening and I could have eaten it while I did the paperwork okay yeah okay because that would have been a bit of a reward for me okay yeah and definitely cheaper than the casino and so in that moment it might feel like oh fifteen dollars for takeout but in the long run, that mm-hmm. that's a harm, good harm reduction plan yeah. in terms of yeah. um, it's a lot cheaper than mm-hmm. the alternative. So takeout, nice way to make it a reward, mm-hmm. make it fun. Great idea. Great idea. So you leave your boss, you're kind of, let's say everything happened as it did. You're just feeling with the weight of the world. Why, it, why me? It's not fair. Um, if my boss can't give me a break, I'm going to have to take it myself. Would that takeout have helped with with some of those? I think it would have. Well? Yeah. Anything. Like it wouldn't have fixed it all. Right. But it would have maybe made it less intense. Right. Yeah. So that's kind of a way of self-soothing too, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Right? It doesn't fix it, it just makes it less intense. Right. Okay. Anything else you would have done there with those hurt feelings, angry feelings on the drive home? I could have called my sister and okay. um, reached out, um, talked it out a little bit, um, let her know what I was going through. Um, She's yeah. a good support, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. yeah. So she could have really kind of validated your emotions and yeah. maybe challenged some of your urges. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then what if you ended up at the casino? I know it's harder to practice skills the closer you get to your target behavior. Um, but if you ended up there, were there any skills or tools available to you in the parking lot of the casino? I like could have used some distraction skills, like, like my accepts skills. So try to find a way to distract myself from going in, maybe turning on music or um, saying I'll go for a drive away from the casino. Yeah. I know you have a really good relationship with your, um, with your sponsor. Is that someone you would have ever called at that? Yeah, point? I don't know why I didn't call them. Okay. Yeah. They were a bit, I think, frustrated with me afterwards. Okay. okay because the next day I did call them and let them know. Um, and I don't know if I thought about it and didn't do it or if I just didn't, I, I think I just didn't think about it, yeah. It sounds like your, your mind was really set on it, like I deserve this break. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of really mm -hmm. focused. So yeah. thinking of some of these other options. Yeah, I think if I did something different, like the food, the takeout, or did like a self-soothing exercise or a distraction, that would probably have like usually an action type thing for me helps. Like it okay. kind of breaks me out of the moment. Yeah. Okay. So doing something yeah. can help change the thought. Yeah. Okay. That's a really important realization. Hmm. Yeah. Doing something. Like basically doing anything but going into the casino. <laughs> right. Right? Right. Like even if I went to chapters, if I went to the mall, like yeah. anywhere but the casino. Yeah, and it's really interesting how those, how big those emotions were and that you really did feel kind of dumped on. Mm -hmm. And that that is still all true, mm -hmm. right? That we can validate those emotions and that they're real and that you were feeling that, you know, it wasn't fair. Mm -hmm. And giving space for those emotions and finding an action that truly soothes them. Mm -hmm. So the outcomes are, are the same. Are there any thoughts in terms of, of what you would do with those outcomes as a plan for repair? What do you want to do now that we're here? Well, I think I can pay off the 800. Like it's about not adding to it more and more. Like it's about okay. like, like there's not going to be any help if I just go down that slippery slope. But now I owe 1200 and now I know owe 1700. So I think like just budgeting out $75 a month against it, how long will that take me? Okay. Um, I think my boss is upset that I didn't have it done, um, but I also think I have a good enough relationship maybe that um, like he'll probably cool down okay. with it, you know, as long as I stay committed to my work. Okay. Um, and I feel a little bit less embarrassed right now. I feel like a bit more hopeful that next time it might be different. So if something like this is helpful to see it on a board, as messy as it is, um, you I can give you a worksheet with this and you can work through okay. something yeah. like this at yeah. home just okay. to kind of unfold. Because I know you said when you came in here, it just happened. It kind of happened in the blink of an eye. And sometimes by peeling back the layers, it helps us just slow down and recognize, oh, this was building right. for a bit of time. Right. And so maybe it'll be helpful to have that worksheet at home to kind of think through what layers tend to happen. Mm -hmm. And then, like, in all this red writing, all the skills that are available to you. I think this really goes to show how hard you've worked at, at building skills, the fact that you could come up with so many so quickly. Mm. They're all still there. I can see some progress happening, I guess. Yeah. Great. Great.